G'day, in tonight's video, I wanted to run through a little test I did with the Godox LDX100R, the Aperture 60D, and the Godox NOLED P600 by panel. Now, I bought the Godox LDX100 as a quick option to have for my run and gun work. It's a really small light. It's nice and physically light and compact, and it has the V-Lock mount on the back, so it's ready to go pretty quickly. I decided to buy the full color version, knowing that I'll most likely only use it as a bi-color light, but I just thought I'd pay the extra just to have it, just in case I need the color. The mount is uh, super easy. You could take that uh, bolt out and use it as a junior pin as well if you wanted to. I really like the V-Lock mount on the back. It's nice and secure and it's quick and easy to go. And the light's up and running in a heartbeat. Obviously it also comes with the DC cable uh, to run it off mains power if you need. Now I haven't done a full length test as to how long a 99 watt hour battery would last, but the indicator on my battery suggested about 50 minutes at 100%. So I would assume, you know, kind of drop maybe five or 10 minutes off that just for safety. But if you ran it at say 90%, then I'm sure you could get a little bit longer as well. So I really like the profile of this light. There's no fans, it's metal construction. So the heat disperses, it does get hot physically to touch, which is fine. But I do like that in the case where I would need to use this in a small room or if the mic had to be close to light or something like that, there's no fans in here. So audio is not gonna be an issue, which is really handy in such a, a light of this style. It also comes with two diffusion panels. So like a lighter diffusion and a two-stop diffusion. So you can see here, I think I'm popping on the two-stop, which just makes it nice and soft. You would also want to still, where possible, throw another bit of diffusion in front of just to get it even softer or I use it at home just to bounce it into the ceiling or something like that as a quicker option as well. So the buy version is cheaper than the color version but I saw the value in just having the color version up my sleeve just in case I needed it. Now the lights I'm going to test it with my Godox P600 by hard panel and I'm also going to test it against a Aperture 60D which Packs a lot of punch for its 60 watt, given that it's got the magnifying glass on the front for the flood and the spot. Rightio, so here are the three lights. I did put them all in the same stand throughout the test, so they're in the same spot, on the same stand at the same height. The P600 by had to run off my big battery bank. The LDX100 is just off a 99 watt and same with the 60D, just off a of V-Lock. So moving into the test now, this is about four o'clock in the afternoon in Queensland. The LDX100 actually does pretty well for such a small light. Running with no diffusion, you get an extra bit of output. Then when you lose those two stops with the diffusion panel, the diffusion I definitely enjoy. It gives a nice soft wrap around for such a small piece of plastic. Now checking the Aperture 60D, obviously at 100%, it's already way brighter than the Godox was, even though it's a 60 watt for the Aperture, and the Godox is 120, call it 100. But that magnifying glass at the front really does lift those levels. Now in spot mode, obviously you can see it's a tiny circle of light, but it uh, fires up. At 50%, I feel it looks a little bit similar to the Godox LDX. Now we move on to the P600 by hard. So I thought I'd start really small with this. So at 5%, I feel straight up it looks like the 100% of the LDX. 10% looks quite nice. That's probably the levels that I'll be going for if I was using it uh, for an interview this time of day. Then we've got 20%, which obviously you'd have to uh, start rolling in your ND from here. Then we move up to 50% and clearly it's uh, overexposed for these settings now. So you'd be definitely increasing your ND 
And then I jumped up to 100 just so you can see the absolute power that is unleashed in this thing. It's rather uncomfortable. And that's uh, putting the ND down to get the correct skin exposure. Then I just ran some tests with a light meter just to give some numbers to the visual results. Uh, this is at 50%. And 100%. This is 100% of spot. 100%. Fifty percent, twenty percent, ten percent, and five percent. Here we have the results side by side. This is matching closest exposure. So the Aperture 60D at 50% is f16. The LDX100 at 100% is f16 with no diffusion. Then you've got the 600 by at f18 or f14. So it's kind of either side. Let me know which look you prefer in the comments below. So now we move inside for a 3200 Kelvin test and I had an old Godox ML60 by which is a great little light. It's about the size of a Coke can, but they do have their Godox mount. So it's not a Bowens mount, but I bought the specific softbox for it, which is a really fabulous softbox. It's got an inner baffle, which is really soft. And then the two stop outer and then a grid. So it's really, really great. So you can see the nice wrap it gives. It's a fantastic little light and obviously if it's indoors and you're not fighting windows or fighting sunlight then this little 60 watt light is a cracker. So I thought I'd check with taking out the inner baffle and opening up the front two-stop diffusion just to give a little bit of light back. Now we're testing the LDX100 and obviously it was only needed to be at 50% with this indoor to uh, keep a similar exposure to the first light. So as you can see in the side by side, when we've got the softbox on, we've lost a little bit of light and we've also controlling the light with the grid. So there's less spill off the wall. Then when we open it up, you can see the spill bouncing back, similar to the LDX frame. But the LDX has got a really nice soft light with that diffusion panel. So it's overall super impressive. Let me know which one you prefer. So there you go, you can see the inner baffle and the outer diffusion with the grid there. Now I hope this test has helped someone out there and shown you that you don't have to use crazily expensive lights to uh, get some good results. and. Even a 60 watt light can be useful outdoors as well as a nice cheap Godox softbox indoors can be super soft. Have a great one. We'll catch you soon. Cheers.